Hi everyone, it's Gail, and it is Scrappy Saturday. I have scraps, and I am not afraid to play with them. So we're going to get going here as soon as we say hi and hugs. Hi and hugs to Sandra, Jen, Katie, Fiddly Bits. <laughs> I love that name. And Janice and Marilyn. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. I so appreciate you guys. Oh, fiddly bits. Okay, this is something we have not done in a while. And I, um, let's see, these are Christmas and fall, and I don't need those right now. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside for a second. Yeah, so we're going to do the collage pages. I realize I I have none. I have none in my stash. So that's what we're going to do today. Just uh, work on having a few of those set in my um, in my already to be used pile of things. Let's see. I want something little but not that little how about in here i betcha betcha i have something in here that'll work well, that's fun it's just don't really want the one that's blank so yeah, we are going to just go around the edges of our little pages and this page and this page you can, of course, do all sides if you want to, but I usually don't. I usually, usually leave a bit. Um, let's put that down. So yeah, I hope you're having a good Saturday. I am just... Working hard to get my videos done. That's my goal today. So I have this one and one more. And then I think I can go, phew, it's Christmas break. Gosh, some of these are so pretty, but they're too big. So I'm going to just rip them down a little. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I was excited to do this collaging. You know, I just always love to do a little collaging. That's a bit big too. I like them to be a little skinnier so we still have room to write, you know. Might as well do the corners. I don't want that same one. How about, let's tear this in half. And put one here and then I'm going to put one on the other page just to kind of tie things together a little bit. Um, We still have zero snow at my house, zero snow, which I'm kind of happy since we'll be on the road, but on the other hand, it doesn't feel much like Christmas. There we go. I'm gonna um, grab this one that we used on the other page too. Uh, let's see, I think I might. Might go halvesies here. Okay, let's go this way just for fun. Okay, um, put that one up there. I usually kind of do one at a time, but since I'm ending up using some of the same bits. Might be good to do it. So I have 
I have thoughts for what we're going to kind of work on next. I want to try some different papers with the same te technique and see, see how we like it. Oh, there's purple. I'm going to put that purple that I have over there. This one would be, that one would be kind of fun. Um, yeah, so we'll get this one done just to remind you of what we're doing and then we'll, then we'll, let's see. Guess I'll go like, I don't know what that is, three quarters of an inch or something. Okay, we'll do this one on this page and then I'll do the same pattern on the, on the other page. Let's see, let's just go here. And this one. Here we go. Like that, but we're gonna cut it into pieces. Okay. I do like them to kind of be different sizes too. And I didn't, the other ones were, I was eyeballing it kind of the same on all of them. Okay. And put this one up there maybe. Yeah, my scrap basket was getting a bit full. I was thinking I needed to <laughs> pare it down a little bit. It was getting a little bit, a little bit crazy. I'm going to put that there, that tiny piece. Okay. Like that. Okay, we're getting there. What else is in here? I've got some. Some nice, that's a little, a little more fallish looking, isn't it? A lot of. Ooh, that one would work. Let's put that right there. Ooh, got that whole side done just like that. So what I was thinking is I think it'd be fun to have one that's out of book page. I was thinking that. And then I was also thinking about Momogami and maybe even the waxed, the waxed papers. I have to take off that writing. It's a little bit thick. I'll keep that though. That might go on something. Okay. So there's that. All right. So this one's ending up a little kind of pastel ish. little flower would be cute. I'll put that there. So I think I want to do a book page one next.
and then maybe and maybe try the mamagami. Um, what else do we have? We have a little of this. I could just take a teeny weeny bit of that. So my husband was saying that the other day he was walking in the morning, and, you know, and he walks sometimes when it's dark out, and he saw a, like a fireball thing up in the sky. I don't know. Was, I think he said there was a comet coming through or something like that. I was thinking I might pull that off, but I guess I'll leave it. Um, yeah. Let's just put that whole thing on there. That would have freaked me out a little bit, but he likes that sort of thing. He needs to, um, text our grandson, the one that's the astrophysicist, and tell him about that. Here's a nice pink one. I feel like I've got a lot of this one there though. Let's see if there's one that there's something else in here. I don't know. This must have been, I think this was from a um, retreat. And it was just bits and pieces I had left, I think. Okay, I don't see anything. Ooh, this is good. Let's go here. This one could go up there. Okay, one more piece here. Just a little, little square of a piece. Um, goodness, there must be something in here. So oh, there's one done. Those are fun, aren't they? Okay, so there's one done. Let's do, let's pop this back where it goes and do um, a book page one. My book pages are overflowing too. I don't want this, these, but, oh, you know what might be fun is to have these in the corner, and then I'm using them, which would be good. I have, a whole, I have several of these, so. I'm doing um, angled pockets, I think. But see why you save everything? Because these will be kind of different and fun in the corners, I think. Okay, I'm falling off my chair. I need to reset a little bit. All right, let's see here. not all going to be the right side up. The top ones won't be right side up. <laughs> They're going to be kind of sideways like that, but that's okay because we'll go every which away with the book page down the sides too. 
Well, that's just kind of fun. I might leave that like that, I think, just because it's cool. Looks good. Let's leave that like that, and then we'll do the normal around the edges with this page. Okay, so let's see what all this. There's a good. There's a good one for down the side. I'm gonna do that because part of the objective is using up stamp uh, scraps, right? We want something we can use, but also might as well use up the, there's another one. Let's do that too. Okay. Did that. Sorry, my have an itch. Okay, something for the corner. That could work. Put that right there. The nice thing about the um about the book pages is you can use it really for any journal. It's nice and neutral. many of these because look at this good strip that would have been a good strip to go down to let's cut out this and we'll rip it in half or something let's see that one could be stamped on I like a, I like a um, neutral one. So what should we put in between? There's a good piece of, that would fit there. Good piece of music. something up there. Got to have a little, maybe this, this is different. there okay so we did that we did the book page let's try the mamagami next okay that's a fun one all right let's do another one let me move my book page and 
end. Let's grab the Mama Gami. Be super thick. Oh yeah, this chews up the glue stick pretty well. Oh well. Mm, that's nice. It's has some good texture to it. Maybe we will. will be fun to have. Just ready to go. Okay. Um, what color do we have? Oh, there's some little ones. They've already been already been ripped a bit. This would be a good color. Okay, maybe a uh, strip of green. Can I hear? I want to grab the blue one too. Add one more one more color in. Oops. No. be good too. I think I'm going to try and do the corners of this other page. See, that has no corners. There's a corner here. bent up little corner. Okay. 
Alrighty then. Don't have any of this on here yet. So what if we did? Piece down the side. this across the top. I definitely like how the Mamagami feels. It's soft and yet bumpy. piece of that down at the bottom too. She's vacuuming right above my head here. Okay. Maybe this one could go over here somewhere. Like there. Okay. Is that where I wanted it? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, haven't used this. A little piece right there. I'll try and do a straight one. Can put that on the other side, I think. Nearly there, huh? Okay, what do we want down there? Oh, I forgot about the blue, didn't I? Let's do... horrible but let's do that right there almost forgot it thank you whoever whoever shouted that out good job oh I really like the mamagami that's that's real nice real nice that's just gonna fit there so I'm going for it have to go back and grab some of the edges with some art glitter glue. 
this bit. Yeah. All right. Yes, I like that. Okay. So maybe one more piece of this. Semi straight. Try and put the glue on the correct side, Gail. Yeah. Let's put that like that. Yeah. And maybe a bit of blue right there. We did the Bamagami one. How are we doing time-wise? Oh, it's time to be done. So the only one that I didn't try that I was kind of wanting to try is the, um, the beeswaxed paper. I think it would be kind of neat too. So we'll have to do, we'll do that another day. But I gotta keep on keeping on. So we have this one. Gosh, we got three of them done anyway. So that one, the book, page one, and this one. So just a fun little thing to pre-make pages. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.